Hey everybody, this is Kenton with Buckshot Chronicles. This is season three, episode eight, I believe. And today I am heading to bear camp. I'm totally excited, I can't wait. I've been waiting to get this bear tag for years. Years, I got it on my eighth year. And Mike got his about the same. So I mean, this is his first time getting a bear tag as well. So we're really excited. Uh, he's going. He's going to bear camp tomorrow. I'm going now. Uh, I've got an early morning hunt. Mine's going to start at. I'm uh, going to be on the stand at 5:30, and I'm uh, really excited about that. Going going with uh, Lieutenant Dan. Sensei's going to be camping about a half an hour, less than half an hour south of me. I'm going to be just north of him in the Blue Hills, uh, in the uh, warehouse or Bruce area. And he's going to be in the new Auburn area, you know, the Serengeti of New Auburn. So he's going to be there. So this is fun, guys. We're really looking looking forward to this. Been waiting a long time. We've been preparing for this. Uh, I know he's really excited. I hope we both get one uh, pretty quickly. Uh, because, you know, uh, deer season literally is about a, about a week later. <laughs> At least that's archery. So we're we're looking forward to that. We're going to be doing that as well. So we're hoping to get a few more fishing videos in here before this is all said and done, before this is over. Uh, I don't know how many more we're going to get this year. Once once hunting season kicks in, we do fish, but it, but it's a little bit, it's not as often as we normally do. So um, this season is going to go all the way until uh, hunting is over. Uh, basically until ice gets on the water. Uh, and then we're going to be doing, uh, then we're going to do a new season of ice fishing. So we're excited guys, we're looking forward to this. Uh, when I get to bear camp, uh, I'm gonna be the first one there. Uh, Dan's coming in later tonight. So, all right guys, thank you very much. We always appreciate the support. And when I get to bear camp, I start getting there and then I'll turn the camera on so you can see it. All right guys, later. Good morning everyone. <clears throat> it's morning at bear camp. So, uh, Yesterday I got here after dark, uh, <clears throat> and so Dan got here late last night, and uh, we just stayed up talking. We had a, we just laughed and laughed and laughed. Had a good time, <laughs> a really good time. We laughed. Uh, I think we were up till midnight. I got up at four thirty, and he was already gone. <laughs> so I know he was excited to get out too. Um, so I'm ready to go. It's a little bit before five. I got a long walk to my stand. So I'll, uh, I didn't get a chance to actually show you guys anything on the outside, but uh, Dan told me, you know, like uh, this is a cabin. And uh, and so, I mean, I've seen pictures from her before, but what he didn't tell me is that they uh, tore down the old cabin and they pretty much built a beautiful house here. So I was not expecting this. I really thought we were gonna be roughing it. I thought we were gonna <laughs> have a bunch of guys like in bunk beds or something, you know, uh, like three stack type bunk beds. And I, that's the impression that I had. And so uh, he got me good. He's, he's, a, he's a character, he's a good dude. So you got me, Lieutenant Dan. It's beautiful, I'll give you guys a, a little, little uh, tour later, but I got to get out on my stand, uh, and get up in there and get some quiet before, it, you know, everything starts going, you know, pretty cool. So, all right, guys, maybe I'll do some, uh, video of the really long hike that I have coming up. <laughs> See you in a bit.
so that's a good sign. So I'm kind of hoping that bear returns or another bear returns. So it's really cool. I kind of like, you know, I didn't know where the stand was, and Dan just said, follow the, follow the trail, and I'll lead you right to the stand, and then your, your uh, bait pile is going to be about 25 yards away. And so uh, I walk him through over hills and through fields, you know, and it's pitch black outside. And uh, I'm thinking, oh man, I hope I don't run into a bear, you know, as I'm walking through fields. But I found it. So I just wanted to check in and say, hey, you know, bear camp's going great. Now I'm actually on the stand. If I get any animals coming through here, I'll see it. I don't actually have a way to record the hunt. I don't have. I didn't bring the tripod. And I just, I probably should have, but, but even then I wouldn't have been able to probably put the phone on that. I'll see if there's any other options. I'm hoping I get one this morning, but if I don't, I'll see if there's any options I could have to try to get this recorded. I'd love to have it recorded. <sighs> so anyways, guys. Uh, I'm excited. Very tired, but excited. If I see anything, come by or get anything. Call you guys don't. seen uh, tons of wildlife, just no bears, I've seen turkeys, baby, baby turkeys, my buddy saw a fisher, he's not too far from here, and uh, I don't know, every kind of bird you can think of, squirrel, so uh, yeah, it's getting close to lunch, so I think I'm going to go grab some lunch here in a bit, probably sitting here for about maybe 15, 20 minutes. And then I'll go grab something and then I'll come back. Alright guys, see ya. Yeah hey everybody. So my bait was hit when I got in early this morning. I couldn't see it until I was sitting in there for a while because I got in there about an hour before light. So we're gonna go bait it. So everybody we filled it with granola, nuts, marshmallows. All kinds of really cool stuff. You put the rock on top. So hopefully nothing else can knock it over. So you spray way high up in the trees and that brings the scent out to the bears? Yes. Awesome. That's so cool. Run all gone wild. All gone wild. All gone wild? It's gone wild. Oh, gone wild. Scent. That's all it'll run for bear attraction. 
That's awesome. All right, guys. Hey, everybody. This is Musky. It's 93 degrees. I'm sweating like crazy. I'm back in for the evening hunt. It's actually 1.30. But we got this thing. This bear is coming in. So it's coming in at all times. So we took lunch and we've never, he's never had it come in. We baited it up. We, we looked at the trail cam and there was a bear, a really nice size sugar bear that came in last night at 10 o'clock. It knocked that bait over. So we're hoping that we get another one that comes in today and I can just shoot it and kind of get this over with and we're going to do some goose hunting and fishing and stuff. So that's kind of the plan, but you know, you can only do it, you can only do whatever happens, you know, so, but yeah, so I'm excited, I'll be sitting here for, it doesn't get dark until about 8 o'clock-ish, so I'll probably be sitting here for about six and a half hours. Hey guys, so I'm in my stand, Dan just texted me. He's going to be sending me some pics here shortly, so I will post it in front of this, and, uh, and then what I'll do is when I get, I'm going to hunt this until it's dark, and then after that I'll go back to the cabin, and we'll get some pics and some video of Dan's bear, and he can kind of tell the story about what happened. That will be a great way to end uh, basically day one of bear camp. So, uh, it's a good day. I'm happy for Dan serves that bear. The guy's been baiting for three months. He's been baiting every day for a month and a half. Uh, so he's, he's done an incredible job and he's earned. So I'm very happy for him. So I'm hoping I can get one day before the night's over. All right, guys. Check <laughs>